Hello everyone, in this Hilding Shorts, I am going to tell you how to differentiate asbestos related cancer like a adenocarcinoma and mesothelioma. So first we should know that asbestosis related which cancer is most common? It is lung bronchogenic cancer which is more commoner than mesothelioma. Right? Mesothelioma is more specific but not more common. Why? Because of the incubation period is very long 30 to 5, 35 to 45 years. Whereas bronchogenic carcinoma is having commoner because of the shorter incubation period of 15 to 20 years. Which bronchogenic carcinoma is more common? So remember adenocarcinoma is more commoner than squamous cell cancer. So this adenocarcinoma and mesothelioma will be having a confusion because of their common histological pattern that is called glandular pattern which means there is a lumen and that will be surrounded by the tumor cell. So this will be seen in adenocarcinoma also and this will be seen in mesothelioma also. So how to differentiate? So IHC staining can help us. Thyroid transcription factor 1, napsin A, cytokeratin 7 positive and 20 minus these are all in favor of adenocarcinoma. Whereas mesothelioma will be positive for calretinin and cytokeratin 5 and 6. Apart from this we can use electron microscopy which is very important to understand. On electron microscopy adenocarcinoma will be showing you short non-branching microvilli. So you can see this electron microscopy is showing you short non-branching microvilli. Whereas in mesothelioma you are going to see long branching microvilli. So here you can see long microvilli but branching will not be seen like this because branches will be like the tips of the finger right. So like this it will be because this is the uh, microvilli and these are the branches. So you are going to see the branches as a round tip. So all these round tips which we are seeing all these are branching all these are branching so all these round tips are branching of the microvilli that is how you are going to identify branching of the microvilli in the mesothelioma enjoy learning best wishes for your